I think it's fair to say that in most instances, it's uh, advantageous to a buyer to have a buyer agent. Uh, but is it important to have a, a signed buyer agency agreement as part of your home search? And in my opinion, it is. And the reason why is it protects uh, you from um, certain things that happen within the marketplace that uh, may not be obvious at first. So uh, parts of a, a buyer agency in, in, include what the... Uh, who the parties are uh, subject to this agreement, obviously. Uh, the terms, how long is that uh, agreement going to last? Is it three months, six months, a year? Um, what areas are covered in, the, in that buyer agency agreement? In other words, uh, is your buyer agent going to represent you no matter how far an, an area you are looking? Or are they going to be specialists in particular marketplaces and you'll have a second buyer's agent covering a different area for you? Uh, what the duties are of that that agent? Are they simply going to bring to you, uh, your attention homes that are on the market through MLS? Or will they go and search for sale by owners? Will they do a mail out for you on your behalf? I know I recently just did one for a client and, and we found a home for them that was not on the market. Uh, so those are all things that need to be covered. Uh, most importantly, of course, is the compensation. Who's paying the broker's commission? Uh, many instances, the broker gets compensated by the listing broker of the property you buy. But there are times when that broker is not compensating a buyer's agent. In that case, who pays that buyer's agent's commission? You would. And so it's important to have that delineated out in the, in the contract. Um, what happens if the buyer agent you're working with suddenly lists a home that you'd be interested in? In our state, uh, that would be uh, considered dual agency. And that's allowed in Massachusetts. But in your state, it may not be. So you need to find out what happens if the broker you're working with uh, that does indeed list a home that you'd be interested in. The, um, there are other requirements that you might have in your agreement. Confidentiality. Um, you don't want the broker disclosing who you are. Um, that's usually not uh, an important consideration, but in, in some special uh, instances it is. Um, needless to say, uh, a buyer agency agreement is only as strong as the parties involved. So before you enter into an agreement, make sure your broker has the qualifications, the, the skill set uh, that you're looking for, and also that you feel comfortable working with that person. You can have a great agent that's very experienced, years in the business, uh, but if you just don't feel comfortable with that person, you don't get along, um, probably not the agent for you. So do your homework, um, and uh, your experience will be enhanced. It'll be a great uh, experience for you in buying a home.